Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about a very, very important part that actually fails on your BMW and nobody seems to really speak about it. And I don't know if that's because many people just don't take the engines apart or many people just don't understand them very well to understand what the fault actually is. Now there's been many people that have actually had this fault um, and they've either got rid of the car, parted the car out because they couldn't figure out what the actual problem was be it either the vanos solenoids, they replaced the right valve cover, the eccentric shaft sensor, the valvetronic motor, and they still can't figure out what the cause of the problem is. Now this does apply to any car that uses a valvetronic system because this was a bad, bad thing that BMW actually did. These bolts were actually over torqued from the factory and what ends up happening is, is these end up going wrong, causing catastrophic failure to your engine and also the Valvetronic system, also known as the Vano system, which is inside the engine. I'm about to tell you what that is. So let's get on to this video. So here we are guys, back with the M52 engine. As many of you guys know, I bring the C60 back and this is the car we're actually focusing on now. Now I know many of you guys are gonna be happy to see the M52 engine once again. Um, this is what this channel was solely built on, is this engine here. And we have got a lot more coming up because this is what I'm about to tell you about. This is what has happened on my Ever M52, the one series. So that engine's gonna have to be torn apart because I believe it's actually got that issue. Now, as I said to you, many of you know what this engine is. Many of you have a lot of the issues on this, which most of my videos relate to, and many of you are able to repair. But this one specific issue has never been addressed. A lot of YouTubers don't address this issue. Many people talk about the Vanos solenoids, the camshaft bearing ledges, uh, this and that, where the eccentric shaft, many people ain't very experienced with this engine like I am. Now, obviously, one part that actually fails on these engines, which BMW don't like to talk about because they don't want you to think that's the issue. Many of you will miss it, especially when you remove everything on this car, even the eccentric shaft sensor itself. Um, you can remove the solenoids, which are down here. So most of the time, 90% of the time, it will fix your Vanos codes um, by taking out the solenoids and replacing them. But majority of the time, that just simply isn't the case. Now, when you do remove the valve cover, obviously you have to readapt the valvetronic motor. You have to relearn its stops, which obviously many of you think you've got a fault because of that, but that's simply not the case either. When you actually lift off this valve cover, many of you won't even notice a problem under there. You'll think everything looks fine. But what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be showing you a photo when I speak about this so you get to see what I mean. On the newer M52 engines, not so much these old ones, but it can happen. As many of you guys know, you got Vanos gears on here, which control the Vanos and obviously advance the timing. Now, what BMW failed to tell you is because there's like a little spring cap on the Vanos gear, it looks like a cross and you can turn it, and it's got a spring on it. Unless you remove that, you will never see behind it, which actually goes wrong. Now it's very, very common, especially for this side right here, which is the exhaust side, and I'll tell you why it happens on that side, for the bolts to actually break off. Now you'll see on the filter here that I've shown above, the bolts actually shear off. Now BMW make out like they have no clue why that happens. BMW will tell you they ain't sure what the issue is. They won't tear down the engine. They won't give you no clues as to why it might be having that problem. And unless you physically tear down these engines, you'll be none the wiser. They'll send you off buying this, buying that, buying this, buying that, and that's why a lot of these cars end up getting parted out because the problem doesn't get fixed. And I believe that specifically happened on that 130i because the Vanos solenoids actually didn't have an issue. I replaced them with genuine ones. We're still getting the code 2887. Many of you will probably be familiar with that code where it says Vanos exhaust jammed. The exhaust side is being jammed because one of the bolts has sheared off. Now what that bolt does, it actually sits on the Vanos gear itself when it's broken off, so it breaks off the head of it, and it's sitting there turning. Um, you won't hear it, but it's actually turning and stopping the Vanos gear from adjusting itself because the bolt is actually broken. Unless you remove the whole valve cover, you will not be aware of that. Now, this is common on the M52, the M52K, the N46, and the M42 as well. This is very, very common and very prone for that to happen on these engines. Now, I have to make you aware that if many of you are running around with a 2887 code and it's saying exhaust mechanism jammed, usually the exhaust side, 
it will be the Vanos unit itself. Many of you would have replaced everything else to no avail, only to find out it's this right here. Now, I know many of you would have just done your valve cover. Many of you would just change the solenoids and drink now thinking, crap, you have to go back in there now to take that off. Now, if you do take the Vanos unit off, you are gonna have to retime the engine. Now, retiming these engines are very, very easy. Don't make no mistake about it. I'm gonna be doing it on the 130s. So if you are not confident or comfortable to do it right now, you can wait until I do my video and do it after I've done it, because it's something I'm going to be doing because I have to. Now, obviously the car doesn't become undrivable. Obviously it's annoying when the code actually pops up. Now it is very, very common for it to happen. Um, Nathan, when he had his M52, it drove him nuts. And I did tell him that, but he didn't look at it. He just got rid of it because he wanted to, didn't want to take the engine back apart and retime it because it was a new engine. But it's very, very problematic on the M52K engine. So if you have the black engine cover, black valve cover with the CCV built in, the Vanos gear breaks. Why does this happen? Purely because here's how it ends up failing. Over time, these cars end up with an issue. Either the eccentric shaft sensor going out, the solenoids going out, people don't pick up on the problem straight away or a misfire. And where this is a six cylinder engine in line six, one of the ignition coils will probably stop firing. You won't even notice. You will just lack, lack low down power. People are revving the nuts out of it, redlining it, trying to advance the unit from the exhaust side as well as the intake side. You're, over, you're pushing the exhaust system too much which obviously it can't advance timing because it's not getting enough air and fuel mixture from being burnt off from obviously one of the coils not firing or the solenoid not working properly, which in turn ends up breaking the bolt because obviously as many of you guys know, the engine management light comes on. A lot of people choose to drive the car like that thinking it's nothing serious because the car's still running, idling fine. They think it's nothing serious. And obviously all you're doing is actually destroying the Vanos unit. Now, many people seem to think it just fails. And obviously, yes, on BMW's part, they shouldn't have put bolts like that, that are gonna fail, but in the same sense, it's the user that causes that problem as well. Now, as I said, guys, if you are having that fault and it's not going away on your M52, M46, M42 engine, that Vanos gear is the problem. They do break off, um, very, very common for them to break off. And I know many of you now be becoming aware of that, are gonna be checking yours. Do make sure to check yours because like I said, it's on my 130i. I'm gonna to have to bring that in. Yes, it's had a new valve cover, but I have to take it all back off and take that gear off and I'm gonna to have to retime the engine because I know one of the bolts are broken off. Whether it's still sitting there, I don't know. That's something we're gonna look for when we take the whole engine apart. This one, God forbid, has been absolutely perfect. You gotta think this one's on 175K. I haven't had any of them issues, but that's because this car was looked after previous to me and even with me still, still being looked after. But that 130i, many people know, one series, fell into the wrong hands, was abused, neglected, and that's why it's gone downhill like many other people's ones go downhill because of that reason. So you would have seen the picture, guys. Not lying, you guys can go and look it up online if you don't believe me. The, the exhaust, the Vanos gear, the bolts do break, and it's very, very common on the black M52 engine especially. Okay guys, so there you have it. As you've seen now, I've now explained to you what can cause your 2A A7 fault code on your BMW M52. Now I know there is many of you out there who message me all the time saying to me, you've replaced your solenoids, you replaced this, you replaced that, and the code still exists. A lot of people are looking up this fault code online about the exhaust Vanos solenoid being jammed. And this is exactly why. The solenoid is not jammed. It's not the solenoid jamming. It's the exhaust Vanos gear getting jammed and that's because of that bolt coming loose. Now, as I said to you, you can either take my word on this, that's up to you whether you choose to or not, or you can wait until I take my 130i apart and I show you because I know that one's having that issue because I've replaced everything and it's still having that fault code. Now, I can only assume that is the issue because it's a very, very common issue, especially on the black M52 valve cover engine because I've never known about this issue on my other M2 engine on my A60. This is only relevant on them engines mostly. And it seems to be something that's all over online from a load of other people who are having the same exact issue. Now, really, I do blame BMW for this. BMW should have really rectified this fault because they knew it was a common problem. The black M52 engines did have a lot more issues than the silver one. And I don't know why that was. It was after they changed the whole CCV system and went to plastic everything, these problems arose. I'm not gonna sit here and lie, the black one is very, very unreliable. Yes, it makes 
very, very good power, more power than the silver one, but it just is riddled in a lot of problems, especially the camshaft bearing legs problem as well they can have, which I don't believe that one actually has because that one doesn't use no oil. That one is just having this exhaust Vanos jam, which was has happened since even before I got it because the code was there. The guy just didn't tell me because obviously the engine management light weren't on, but I saw it, changed the solenoids, then thought, this isn't happening, this isn't the code, and it's time to look further, and that's what I done. And then I found out it's now the Vanos gear. So if you guys are having this problem, do go ahead, remove your valve cover and check it. But thank you very much for watching guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.